what is up guys back again with another video and this time we are going to fix this Game Boy Color on my previous video I had restored another one of the same color but less damaged as this and I cleaned it up fixed the power button B button and the battery component as well now this one does turn on I did try it with batteries but you can't see anything because the screen is completely gone the LCD there is cracked and yeah, you can't see anything on that the casing is really badly scratched and it has no back it does have a game in here which is Warrior Land 2 which I'm pretty sure works but we are going to restore this to the Pokemon Color Edition which comes with the yellow faceplate and the blue back and a replacement sticker it has this cool bezel here made out of plastic Pokemon edition bezel and the buttons and screws and the I think the infrared sensor bar thing cover so let's go ahead and open this up. I've got my tri point screwdriver here. I think it has six screws at the back. All right, now that the screws are off, we can just gently lift it open and just drop the infrared cover there, but that's okay. And there we go. Um, there was lots of bits inside here, which I had just shaken out and it's still just got lots of debris and bits of dust. Now next, we want to lift this up, the ribbon cable here. This is for the LCD screen, so just lift the tab up and then pull the ribbon cable out. Now I'll probably need to give this a little wipe. Doesn't appear to be any battery acid on the contacts there, which is a good sign. Everything else seems okay. Take out this, this is the power button. And this is the thing that had snapped before. This little plastic bit can be fragile, so be careful of that. Put that to one side. We'll go and find our infrared cover. There we go. Now this needs a crosshead screwdriver or screws. There's only three on this board here. This should just pop open. Be careful with this, the speaker at the bottom there. Just, uh, we don't want that to snap off. Now uh, we, because we're not keeping this, we don't really need to take any of this out. Although the buttons can be salvaged for parts, this case is just worth throwing out. Here is our replacement front cover and I got this from AliExpress, the whole thing, the whole housing with all the bits and bobs needed to go in it and I think this was like £15 or just under £15 which works out to be like $20 or less which is a really good deal. Um, it didn't come with the LCD Screen, but I bought a replacement LCD screen there and this was like 10 12 pounds so. right so I got the buttons now I'm gonna put them in the correct places directional and then B and A Got 
got another power switch there. An infrared cover there. Should just slot in. There we go. Now I decided not to stick the screen on here because I don't have um, double-sided sticky tape. But that's what you would need just to stick this on. It doesn't need to be on very strong at all. I'm just going to give this a quick little wipe. That looks clean. Let's plunk that on there. And then the bezel here, which I'm not going to put on just yet. I'm just going to place it at the bottom just to not let the LCD get any dust or anything. Um, so we're just missing the start and select buttons, which I actually don't think they provided. What was that? Yeah. So they didn't actually give you a placement um, start and select button, which I'm not sure if they should have or not. But we're just gonna use the old one then, which is just two little rubber bits. I'm gonna give it a wipe because they are dirty. I guess they didn't supply the rubber bits because also I need these as well which are filthy so I'm gonna quickly give these a clean up and then I'll be right back okay so these are now clean so I'm just gonna plunk these on top here I'll leave the power switch till the end Let's give this a quick wipe because I know it's probably still got crap on. <clears throat> right, that's a lot better than before. Let's now slide this in. Just need to reconnect this ribbon cable for the LCD back in there. Line the holes like where the screws are. Uh, we want to put, make sure the speaker is placed before anything. Now that looks secure enough to clamp down the tabs there. Let's just press them in. Making sure this is lined up so I can put the screws back in. So the power switch is back on now, so let's screw everything back together. What screws do they give me? to press down a little bit on the board to get it to line up that seems okay I think when the case is back on that should be totally fine this needs to be screwed in a bit more All right, so that should stay on now I'm just hoping this 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 power switch will will just stick there because we don't want it to not aligned correctly and it not hitting that little plastic bit. Now let's put the back cover on. Now I didn't hear a click or anything but 
that is sealed. So once all the screws are in, this should hold together. Right, so all the screws are now securely on. It was a bit hard to screw them in, I guess, because this plastic doesn't really have a good thread. But they're all in there now, <coughs> and now we can stick on this like replacement sticker here, which I guess has is a duplicate to the other limited edition ones. Try to be as straight as possible, line it up, that will do. Now what's, and the only thing that's left is, I'm just checking the buttons if they're fine, they seem okay. The only thing that's left is sticking this back on, so let me just give it a wipe because it's full of crap on the other stuff. Peel off this adhesive here. Oh, there we go. And now slide this there. And that adhesive is actually quite strong, so this will stick on for a while. Like, this ain't gonna go anywhere. And that is pretty much it. I need to put some batteries in here. It's looking very nice already, though, compared to what I had before. I mean, this was just completely wrong. Let's put some batteries in and try out Wario Land 2, which I should probably give that a wipe, but that's fine. All right, so I ran into a bit of a problem. I put everything back, I turned it on, and there was no, nothing coming on the screen. And I had to take all the screws off again and just double check the, the ribbon cable and this bit had come dislodged a little bit so you just need to double check before you put it back together again that the ribbon cable was straight and there's no sort of dents or anything on the actual ribbon, ribbon cable and also um, I think the contrast was too high because this is a LED screen without a backlit um, light the the contrast dial is here so in my case it was too bright and I couldn't actually make out what was on the screen and there was kind of like faded black lines so I used a small flathead and just twisted this to the left and what that does is that decreases the contrast on the LCD screen on the Game Boy for you to see the pixels and then if it's too dark then you do it the opposite way um, the right side but you only need to adjust this ever so slightly to get the contrast correct so you can actually see what's going on on the screen so everything should be working now. Put it back together. 
I'm not gonna put the screws on just yet. Let's put Mario Land in. And there we go. I thought the seller, the eBay seller had sent me a, a broken LCD, but it was actually the ribbon cable and the dial itself. Everything is looking good. Pretty much a brand new Game Boy Color now. So yeah, I'm really liking the Pokemon Limited Edition. I never actually owned a Pokemon Limited Edition one before. So there's a neat little touch. And there's so many different Game Boy Color cases that you can get. And so many different like limited editions that they brought out. I hope this tutorial has helped you guys. So if you're planning on um, changing the housing or repairing a Game Boy Color that you got, then yeah, I hope this video is out. And I can't seem to get past this very fast bit. So, thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you again on another tutorial.